Everybody knows that I'm breaking down Everybody knows I ain't faking now Everybody knows my heart's vacant now Yeah, she hates me now, I made mistakes but now I don't ever wanna be alone I don't really ever feel at home On my own, in the zone That's the only way I know Feeling low, about to blow back up I won't ever let the doubt creep in Gotta pop a couple more aspirin I don't think I'll ever let you win Easier to break it off, best friends I don't really understand myself I don't really understand, need help I don't wanna be left on the shelf Couldn't even hear me if I yell it's so cold outside I'm alone, I'm alright It's so cold outside I'm alone Always feel like I could break now, but I never let it. Guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we have once again what if Naruto had Red Demons Dragon, what if Sasuke had Stardust Dragon, and of course, before we start, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, enjoy. Now, shall we get started? Hopping straight into things, we get straight into our um, first battle we'll be covering, which is Sakura and Rock Lee versus Tamari and Konkuro. Sakura started off with summoning of course live stream dragon since it's basically the main and only way she can fight here. <laughs> I mean lead is to say the fight doesn't go very hard for of course the two, um that being Sakura and Lee, seeing as well even with one dragon alone the two are easily crushed. Nothing really worth going over. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, I'll go more into detail. <laughs> Let's see, Lightstream Dragon just basically blows them away figuratively and literally. No real competition. Okay, that's the detail. All the detail I need to go in on to the next scene. <laughs> also, same applies to Neji. Neji pretty much fights Dosu and defeats him with these. I have no doubt he could beat Dosu. <laughs> Absolutely no real doubt at all. <laughs> Unless somehow Neji can't move faster than the speed of sound, but he can see the attack coming, so and we'll apply that and basically gets up close to Dosu and finishes him off from there. With a trigram sixty four palms. Anyways, we move on to our next scene. That being Gar versus Naruto and Sasuke. Gar from the start this time will go into full Shikaku. Seeing uh, after facing well, a dragon themselves and seeing the two used dragons themselves in the tuning exams. Well, for preliminaries. Naruto Sasuke will obviously respond with Stardust Dragon and Red Demon's Dragon being summoned. But wouldn't be done yet as, um, well, a, he will receive help from Rojimaru having another earth bound up his sleeve. That being Earthbound Immortal, Sukaichi, a blue flame spinning fat spider. By the way, I made up that name on the spot. <laughs> Sukaichi, I like it. <laughs> Which Rue Scarlet Red Dragon Arch theme would go to battle? And it would be, and its flames would, of course, overpower his. Of course, it not being strong enough to fight it alone. At least not without help or getting stronger. <laughs> But he would be able to stay in the battle and hold it off. <laughs> this leads to Stardust and Sasuke taking on Chicago. Oh, I should probably mention this. Now I mention it at the end of the video. The battle goes with basically Stardust shooting off Shikaku's limbs. However, he would easily regenerate these. And Shikaku trying to attack Stardust with a wind bullet was an air bullet. I forgot which one it was. And same difference. Ever Stardust would easily be able to block these using its wings as well shields. 
eventually he will fly himself closer to get well fly Sasuke closer to Shikaku to get on top of Shikaku and basically wake Gar back up. So I wouldn't last very long. Well what last long. It would actually last a while, but and moving on to the battle with Sukaichi, I know he's basically only been here for a few seconds, but um he is defeated using Naruto and Scarlet Red Demon's Dragon's collaboration jutsu to overpower it and eventually burn the spider down. Huh, quite ironic. Of course, this leaves Earthbound Immortal, name I cannot remember since it is way too long, and I just nicknamed Snake, being the only one left. And basically, everyone who won their fights would converge on the snake, but I Mainly the four sire dragons also start a dragon going into its spark form <laughs> would take it on. He used to say the thing is powerful but not powerful enough to handle four sire dragons at once and would easily be outclassed. However, it would um just grain a black cloak over it. Well purplish, more purplish. Shed its skin and it would become this thing. Growing a few extra heads and arms and legs. And going vastly more powerful. It will launch its X from all these age heads basically blasting each dragon away. Well, you, the dragons will try everything they have on the thing. However, these, would, these attacks will do little to nothing. Luckily, like Stream Dragon is able to keep everyone healed. Even later, again, Buta and Jiraiya joined the fight. However, this is quite little to no help. Even with Gamma Buta's help, it doesn't do much. But Gamma Buta is able to take off a head before again blasted away himself. <laughs> One of the beast blasts will even go awry and even nearly hit Neji. However, something would come to protect him. Yay, the white card, and you can probably guess by the, the well name what it is. Black Rose Dragon, everyone. Because, uh, a little wreck onto its powers instead of when it can use black vines. I don't know if I said that in the first part, but basically controls plant life, can summon vines with very, very spiky thorns. So I'm um, just, just wanted to clear that up. <laughs> Anyways, now with all Fireside Dragons in this universe assembled, yep, I did totally did not forget to include one in the in Gamabuta's hell, Black Rose Dragon is able to use his vines to hold the thing down as the other dragons do attack it. Also, his heads, Black Rose Dragon is able to hold his heads down and allow Gamabuta to cut more of them off with his giant sword. Or was it blade? Or is it more of a katanga or dagger? Either way, however, this wouldn't change much still them not being strong enough to actually destroy the creature. <laughs> that is until the crimson dragon would decide to lend some assistance and lend some of its power. <laughs> As it would appear, and would lend Scarlet Red, Dra Red Demon's dragon some of its power. Allowing it to, well, will transform or evolve, I like to use the word transform into a heart red dragon arch thing. Hearts red demons dragon I should say. Heart red demons dragon bane. It's easily showing its power, it'll light that you know little blade on its arm on fire and easily slice the thing, slice the earth bound in half. Killing it. Okay, let's go over longer fight. Well, slice it in half, then basically turn the rest of it into ants with one big fire blast. Destroying it then. Of course, Orochimaru seeing this will basically use this time to escape. With the battle with him, Haruzin about ending the same way as in canon. Anyways, with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. And don't forget to, of course, like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, enjoy. And see you in the next one.